you just got to bear with me for a minute because I'm going to get on a soapbox and a rant. But I am, I am obsessed, obsessed with monarch butterflies. I knew nothing about them until a few years ago and then started reading up on them. I have an app on my computer at home that tracks the migration of these butterflies. Right now, they're in the middle of Mexico, 4,000 miles away from my backyard. And they will start their migration in the next 15 to 20 days. And it will take these little guys and girls till middle of May to get to where I am in eastern Pennsylvania. And they fly that, that length of distance purely because they're looking for a nursery. They're looking for a place in which to lay their eggs. And that nursery is right here. It's milkweed. It's one of the few plants that monarch butterflies will, will lay their legs on. So the Walleen family, which is the Roberta's brand name, they bring to us four different types of milkweed in four different colors. And when you put it together, it's funny, they call it a butterfly bush. No, this is like, this is a butterfly theme park. Because it won't just draw monarchs, it draws some of the most beautiful butterflies in the world. And this is brand new and priced at under 30 bucks. You're getting an orange, a pink, a yellow, and a white. Now, I'm in for a surprise because I don't know which one of the many Wallines I get the pleasure of working with today. I was on the air with Derek last week. So let's bring up the camera and I get to find out who it is today. And Stephanie! Oh, well, Dan, it's the best. How it's are the best you? It's the best one family. So you are in for a treat, that's for sure. Uh, a, a virtual hug. Congratulations yes. on the wedding. I see your, folks, you. your photos on Facebook. Uh, it just makes me happy to see you. So happy. It's such a blessing. So good Thank to you. see you. Uh, you too, Dan. You too. Tell, um, us, tell us a little bit more about milkweed because uh, it, this will grow wildly, but when you have it and you put it in a big pot like what you've done here, Mm -hmm. you, you can draw butterflies from literally miles away from your home. Totally. In, you know, you said it correctly, Dan. This is actually the only plant that the monarch butterfly is going to find in order to lay its eggs on. And then once those eggs hatch into the caterpillar, it's the only plant that those caterpillars will actually eat the leaves of. So truly, you know, by planting this milkweed or the Asclepius, as it's known, um, you are doing your part in helping save the monarch butterfly population, which over the last couple of decades, Dan, has really decimated. Um, but I will say, you know, this is maybe, this is one of the plants that we've been bringing over the last few years here to QVC. And thank you to all of you who have already, you know, picked up your orders of milkweed over the last few years, because we are starting to see the numbers of monarchs, you know, slowly creep up. Yeah. Um, they are still in dire, in dire straits. So, you know, by planting this, whether you live in an apartment, you know, out in the country, this is something that all, every single one of us in the U.S. can grow. And by doing so, you're literally helping save the monarch butterfly. Yeah, it's, it's, again, I didn't know I had monarch butterflies where I lived. I had no clue. Totally. Until... It's true, Dan. You know, back, back in the day, you know, I've been talking to my uncles and stuff. And when they were kids, they saw hundreds of monarch butterflies yes. on a daily basis. But, um, we but don't you know, anymore. my niece, I, I think she's only seen like two or three in her whole life. And she's 10. So really the population has... Um, gone down quite a bit. And so by planting this, uh, you're really helping, you know, regenerate the monarch butterfly population. But you're also going to be giving food and nourishment to all other sorts of pollinators, such as the swallowtail and all of yes. your, your bees and butterflies and birds. And then as you see here, Dan, on the left, if we could just hold that image. Oh, if we go we'll back, back one, one really quick, there, thank, thank you. you. Um, that's the monarch butterfly caterpillar, Dan. So, you know, Typically, when we see bugs crawling around on our plants, we get a little nervous, but yeah, that is exactly one. what you want. You want to see these ca caterpillars eating away at your leaves because eventually then they will go into chrysalis and then emerge into the monarch butterfly. This video is from our dear friend Sandra Bennett and her husband. They filmed this last year. Yeah. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is what you can do. You know, I like to say, Dan, send this to your nieces and nephews, maybe your grandchildren and let them kind of go through this awesome experiment, the science experiment, while also having beautiful plants and flowers in their life, and then eventually being able to let these butterflies off into the wild. It's truly an amazing story. Well, I, to me, this is the power of gardening. Uh, 
Totally. Everything that I planted for the last two years has been a pollinator. I haven't planted, well, uh, tomatoes are even pollinators, so I'll count that. Yeah, totally. Um, uh -huh. And I, I have, I've got track record and history with the Roberta's brand name of the Walling family. Uh, Stephanie's father grew up 20 miles from where I grew up. Mm -hmm. and, and when we were kids, again, the backyard would be filled with monarchs. And totally. they went the way of the ladybugs. You don't see them anymore. So mm -hmm. I urge you, and it's such an affordable price. These are brand new, but it's less, less than $30 to get these to your home, $27.72. They're going to send them to you at the right time. And they're already That's right. established plants. They're in two and a half inch pots. So That's right, Dan. Put them together in one big pot like this. And these are perennials. They'll come back year after year after year. Absolutely. And that's kind of the, the beauty of the milkweed, Dan, is, you know, there are native Asclepias or native milkweed to the North America that yep. grow out in the wild. And they grow to be about five to seven feet tall with not very pretty pink flowers. But yep. the monarch butterflies don't care, so we let them be. But this collection, it's called the Butterfly Bouquet because it's been hybridized and bred to actually be beautiful in our garden. So it's only going to grow about three to four feet tall like the plant you have with you on set, Dan. And then this collection is super special because it's including four of um, four individual colors. It's not a choice of. So you will be getting a yellow, yeah. a pink, orange, and a very hard to find white. And you'll be getting these plants. I have one, but you'll be getting four of these shipped yeah. to your house at just the right moment to plant. Uh, I, this is, it's an evolutionary plant. It is absolutely the coolest thing. And, and I don't care who you are. You when you plant something in like this in your yard or in a pot and then along around mid-may at least that's when it is for me it's a little different depending upon where you live farther north mm -hmm. it'll be later and you see that first monarch butterfly land on the plant that you planted you built that butterfly a home absolutely they will only lay their eggs on milkweed so if they can't that's right. and imagine i mean that's a long flight 4,000 miles from the middle of Mexico. And they only make that trip once. Uh, Mother right, Nature Dan. is amazing. So when you and see- And I will say, you know, I live yeah. in Southern California. And so this was the, this last summer was the first year that I planted my first collections of Asclepias because I didn't have a garden beforehand. Yep. And I planted three plants. And I will say in about, I don't know, four weeks, all of my leaves were gone. Yep. I had like hundreds of caterpillars. It was amazing. But then I was like, oh no, I, I ran out of foliage. There was no more leaves for them. So, you know, if you are considering picking up this collection, I will highly suggest get two or three collections. You will have no regrets because you, I promise you the monarch butterflies, like Dan is saying, they will fly around and they will find where the Asclepius is and they will grace your garden and your patios. Yeah. And you, then you will be, you know, giving them a home and then you will get to enjoy their beauty as well. See, you're, you're so good with the official words. I, I just know, I just know milkweed, but yeah, hey, I, that's okay. I, I agree that's with what you. I'm here for. We, we've got a, a very small patio and a small pool, and mm -hmm. so we have big planters, like almost identical to the one that I've got here on the set, and we use these as bookends for for one end of the pool. And oh, cool! It, it's so fun to sit out there, and I I do feel like a toddler. You know, monarch butterflies are these wonderfully gentle creatures and they'll land on your fingertips and my favorite time of the year is when you see the caterpillars starting to come out of their chrysalis and they and they start eating and you see it and that's a monarch distinguishable exactly. by those orange leaves with a black with white dots mm -hmm. and, and they are you I can't look at this stuff and not believe in God Oh, that, absolutely, that's Dan. That's my this favorite is... passion about gardening. Listen, I don't know how, when you put a seed in the ground, somehow it becomes a thing. I can't I explain it's it. Cool. But it it's is cool. cool. Yes, it, it is. It is really cool. And this plant, I think, is the coolest and probably like the most special and most important plant that, you know, my family, we bring to QVC each year because not only are you getting the beauty factor for yourself and your garden and your patios and decks, but you are really doing an amazing thing for the environment, for the world, yeah. because yeah. this is the only plant, Dan, that the monarch butterflies are going to come and lay their eggs on. And once those eggs hatch into the caterpillars, these are the only leaves that they're going to be eating. 
So truly, you know, without this milkweed or without the Asclepius, we would not have monarch butterflies. So, you know, my uncle Court likes to say, you know, buy several sets, you'll have no regrets, whether you have, you know, like a small patio, you live in an apartment, you can grow these. If you yep. live out in the country and you have acres of land, you know, throw a couple of collections out in the woods just for the monarchs to enjoy. Yeah. And then a couple of collections for you to sit around, you know, outside on your patio with. But truly, you, you cannot have enough Asclepius, in my opinion. It's, this is impact planting. Yes. Uh, you know, I've got two grandbabies now who butterflies, butterflies are fairies. They're magic. Mm -hmm. And I and I see them through different eyes. Uh, to, I'll be honest, it's my two granddaughters, Evie and Maya, that were the ones just by their joy of seeing butterflies that that forced me to plant nothing but those plants that would attract more of them. So that's awesome. I, I say go for it. These are brand new. There's obviously a, a finite number that the Walling family can bring in under the Roberta's name, but I think it's the best thirty bucks you can spend to feel good about your gardening. They go into the ground if you wish them to, mm -hmm. but you can also put them in pots. Uh, this becomes one of my favorites. Absolutely, Dan. And as you said earlier, um, just a few minutes ago, this is a super winter hardy perennial. So yep. really when I'm saying anyone in the country can grow it, I truly mean, you know, if you live in Southern Florida, all the way up to near the Canadian border, you can grow these because it will take super winter hardy temperatures and um, as you see there, Dan, that is the monarch butterfly caterpillar. So when you see that on your plants, do not, you know, don't fret. Let them yeah. be. Let them enjoy those those leaves, and then eventually they will emerge into um, the yeah, monarch is, butterfly that we all know and love. This is not a plant. This is this is a 24-hour diner for monarch butterflies and caterpillars. Exactly. Could you yes. could you imagine going through your entire life, Stephanie, eating only one thing and one thing alone? <laughs> I cannot, but I know that if I, if I did, I'd be yeah. wanting a lot of it. So that's why we need to do oh, our yeah. job in planting. I, I would it. be planting pizza. <laughs> I would be, Plant, would be planting pizza. Yeah. Fair enough. Hey, that's you don't a get a one. physique like this without you know working at. Uh, yeah, right. It is so good right. to see you, my friend. You too. I can't wait for this spring, and I think what you and your family bring to us is the definition of spring. Love to you Thanks. and your family. Thank you so I'll very much. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. That's Bye-bye. nice. Uh, take advantage of this. Now, wait a minute. Wait, wait. I forgot Stephanie's going to come back. This next plant I also know well because I've got one of my 